Israel-Gaza conflict, tension arose between Netanyahu and Biden. In a significant development, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has openly defied President Biden's call for a two-state solution in the long-standing Israel-Gaza conflict, further straining diplomatic ties between the two nations. Netanyahu maintains that the creation of a Palestinian state is currently impractical due to pressing security concerns, leading to heightened tensions and protests in the Gaza Strip. While Palestinians view statehood as a legitimate aspiration, Israeli authorities express apprehension, citing security and territorial issues. President Biden, emphasizing the importance of peaceful coexistence, continues to support the two-state solution. However, Netanyahu's outspoken defiance has raised concerns about the future of U.S.-Israel relations. The Biden administration, committed to diplomatic solutions, faces challenges in brokering a peace agreement between the conflicting parties. The ongoing dispute, marked by complex negotiations and historical tensions, fuels violence and unrest in the region. The two-state solution, seen as a crucial path to stability, aims to establish separate, independent states for Israelis and Palestinians, addressing issues such as borders, Jerusalem's status, and the rights of Palestinians in occupied territories. Without a resolution, the Israel-Gaza conflict persists, impacting millions and perpetuating a cycle of violence and suffering. As tensions rise and the prospect of negotiations remains uncertain, the international community looks to continued diplomacy and cooperation for a hopeful and peaceful resolution. In a recent call between President Biden and Prime Minister Netanyahu, the U.S. leader suggested the possibility of an Ordusas Berfalistan Devladi, a Palestinian state without its own military, as a potential option for a two-state solution. This proposal has sparked new international discussions and reactions, adding complexity to the Middle East peace process. Transport Secretary Grant Shapps expressed disappointment at Netanyahu's rejection of the two-state solution, emphasizing the need for a sovereign state for Palestinians. The UK Labour Party also condemned Netanyahu's stance as completely unacceptable, highlighting the right of the Palestinian people to statehood. The situation continues to evolve, with global attention focused on the complex challenges of achieving a lasting and peaceful resolution in the Israel-Gaza conflict. Stay tuned for further updates and analysis on this developing story. Who will be a candidate? Nikki Haley or Donald Trump? Attention, political enthusiasts! Today, we delve into the intense race to become the next president of the United States. Two prominent figures dominate the headlines, Nikki Haley and Donald Trump. Who will be the ultimate candidate? New Hampshire allows undeclared voters, who make up 39% of registered voters, to participate in Republican or Democratic primaries. This separate block of independent voters has caused electoral surprises in the past. That spirit, our slogan of live free or die lives on in the mindset of voters here. Matthew Bartlett, the state Republican strategist, told me they don't like being told what to do. Candidates will try to win over these more moderate New Hampshire independents who may choose to vote in the Republican primary. After all, the final two Republican challengers, Donald Trump and Nikki Haley, are fighting for the 22 delegates at stake in New Hampshire. These will be awarded proportionally among the best candidates. To come out on top at the Republican National Convention in July, a Republican candidate must secure a total of 1,215 delegates out of the 2,429 available in the primaries. New Hampshire is a state of nearly 1.4 million people, but experts suggest only 410,000 will actually go out to vote, just under 30% of the population. The Secretary of State for New Hampshire has released what he thinks the turnout will be, and he expects 322,000 people will vote in the Republican primary and 88,000 in the Democrat one. 
That's still more than the 110,000 people who voted in last week's Iowa caucuses, a state of more than 3 million. And about 39% of people registered to vote are undeclared, meaning they're independent and can vote in either primary. Nikki Haley, a charismatic and accomplished politician, served as the United States ambassador to the United Nations. She impressed the nation with her strong leadership and diplomatic skills. Haley is known for her ability to bring people together, transcending party lines. On the other hand, we have the polarizing figure of Donald Trump, the former president who left an indelible mark on American politics. His staunch supporters admire his unfiltered approach, economic policies, and determination to put America first. But the question remains, who has the upper hand in this battle for the presidency? Will Nikki Haley's ability to unite the nation prevail? Or will Donald Trump's loyal base secure his position once again? All answers in the video. While Nikki Haley embodies a fresh perspective and the promise of change, Donald Trump possesses a firm grip on his support base, making him a formidable force to reckon with. It's a clash of two contrasting ideologies, each with their own passionate followers. Only time will tell who will emerge victorious, but one thing is certain, this race for the presidency will be electrifying, captivating, and undoubtedly shape the future of the United States. Polls have opened in New Hampshire and voters have begun choosing their preferred candidate for the Republican presidential nomination. Opinion polls show Donald Trump with a clear lead after his commanding victory in the Iowa caucuses last week. Nikki Haley, who is focusing her campaign in New Hampshire, is the only remaining candidate after Ron DeSantis left on Sunday night. New Hampshire is the next stage in what will likely be a months-long race for the Republican presidential nomination. The Democratic primary elections are also being held today, but due to the fight within the party, Joe Biden is not on the ballot. Donald Trump and Nike Harley say today, Trump and Haley are taking turns attacking one another as they try to woo any undecided voters. Trump just posted on his social media site, Truth Social, claiming he's the best man to take on President Biden. I get much better polls sick, numbers against Biden than Nikki Haley, not even close. He wrote, Haley, meanwhile, has insisted she's not dropping out anytime soon. I don't care how much y'all want to coronate Donald Trump, she said. At the end of the day, that's not what Americans want. Americans want a choice, and we're gonna give them that. Thanks for watching this insightful look into the battle for the presidency. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more compelling content. Stay tuned, and may the best candidate win.